the teacher places algebra tiles in a cup and dumps them onto the table or overhead. The student is then asked to sort the tiles. Depending on how the student has sorted the tiles, you can introduce the concepts of like terms and positive and negative values. Based on the set of algebra tiles in your school, one color represents positive and the other negative. You will need to establish the color coding with your class ahead of time. For example, red, a hot color, may represent positive integers and blue, negative integers. The small squares represent units or ones. The rectangles represent tens or the variable x, depending on the concept you are teaching. The large squares represent 100 or x squared. Once again, the teacher places algebra tiles in a cup and dumps them onto the table or overhead. In this demonstration, we are using tiles that represent x, x squared, y, y squared, xy, and ones. The student is then asked to sort the tiles. Pose the question, what do you see in front of you? Each tile represents the following. The red tile represents 1 because the area is 1 by 1. The next tile represents x because using an area model, its dimensions are 1 by x. This next tile represents x squared because the length is x and the width is also x. Now we introduce a new tile which represents y. The width is 1 and the length is y. Similarly, there is a y squared tile. Finally, we have a tile representing xy. Let's review. 1 x, x squared, y, y squared, and xy. You can extend this activity by introducing concepts such as area or multiplication of polynomials. Remember, when using overhead tiles, positive and negative tiles are identified by color only and are not reversible. And don't throw those trays away, they can be used as a work surface and for storage.